Within 45 minutes of responding to a fire at a furniture store, nine firefighters would be dead. Hello, true crimers. This is another worst freak accidents. Viewer discretion is advised. This was the Sofa Superstore located in Charleston, South Carolina. At approximately 7 p.m. on June 18th, 2007, they believe a discarded cigarette thrown out near the warehouse portion of the store started a small fire. The fire alarms located in the building went off, plus they also called 911, and firefighters were there within three minutes. It's also important to note that this building, for some strange reason, had no sprinkler system in it. The top priority for the firefighters was to first attack the fire in the warehouse. They also had a few of the firefighters going in the building to retrieve anyone who might still be inside. The warehouse and the showroom were attached by a roof. So quickly, the fire that was in the warehouse would then spread to the actual superstore portion. Allegedly, when the firefighters went into the building, the visibility was actually pretty decent. So they tried to extend their hoses into the building, but they were not long enough. So some of the firefighters left the building to correct that issue. At that point, there was only one small hand line in the building with the firefighters to fight this massively growing fire. Then, a 911 call came in from in the building. Somebody was trapped. So, other firefighters were able to go to that portion of the store, break down one of the walls, and they were able to rescue the individual who was inside. The showroom is full of furniture, couches, and tables, so essentially a whole bunch of flammable material. They were having one hell of a time battling this fire, because it was growing so quickly. At 7.41 p.m., there was unfortunately a massive flashover in the building. At that point, there were 16 firefighters inside. This is when the integrity of the building began to fail. And within moments, the roof of the showroom, it collapsed. Because of the flashover, because of the roof's collapse, most of the firemen were not able to get out. When all of this happened, by the way, a huge fireball went through the showroom as well. The firemen inside, didn't state a chance. So by 10 p.m. the fire was finally contained and then by 4 a.m. they had removed all of the bodies from inside. These are the nine firefighters who lost their life when the roof collapsed and the fireball took over the building. Local codes did not require the building to have a sprinkler system, just so everyone's aware. There was a lot of criticism to how the fire was handled, but you know what? It doesn't matter at this point because nine brave souls died.